For 35 years, Pete Peterson and his students have been studying how oyster reefs are abused during hurricanes and how they can be restored after a major storm. At the Institute of Marine Sciences in Moorhead City, Peterson and his team conduct experiments on oysters in these small ponds. We have patches of oysters, much like are created after hurricanes, and then we have big oyster reefs in another pond. And so the students today are going in and assessing what has been eaten overnight by the black drum and the crabs by going through each patch and removing the prey items that have survived and comparing that to how many we've put out. Oysters play two important roles in the environment. First, they filter our ocean waters, allowing sunlight to penetrate to the bottom of the ocean floor and seagrass the environment to grow. They also provide a structure at the bottom of the ocean floor that creates a hiding place, habitat and food source for fish, crabs and shrimp. Oysters are really important to our water quality and important as a habitat. They also are important in breaking waves before they hit the shores of our sounds and therefore protecting the shore against erosion. Peterson says our state's oyster reefs are in serious trouble with less than 1% of the oyster reef left from what it was 100 years ago. Oysters, of course, are, have also been historically fished and brought a huge income to the parts of Northeast North Carolina that are now so economically depressed. So with only 1% of historical oyster reefs and oysters out there today, uh, we're in sad shape. Oyster reefs are on nature's front lines and weathering a hurricane. The oysters rise to shallow water, and so the waves of storms can actually hurt, break, and destroy oyster reefs. What they do in the short term is to fragment the reefs, and where there was one big long reef, there now will be several remnant patches that are much smaller left behind after the storm. That fragmentation of habitat is one of the major changes that humans are having, but it's also one that hurricanes cause. There is public support and funding support to help the oyster reefs, which makes Peterson hopeful that new reefs can be built and the rebuilt ones will withstand future storms. But with climate models suggesting that North Carolina will see many more big hurricanes striking our North Carolina coast in the years ahead, the future of our oysters is in jeopardy.